Hey everyone, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I'm gonna be showing you a video on the ProDad plugins. Now, ProDads are third-party plugins that come with certain versions of Vegas. Mine came with Vegas 16 Pro, and I'm gonna be explaining a little bit of it and just showing you some general things it does, like filters and transitions. And if you like it, link it in the description, and maybe you go pick it up. Let's get started. So I have two clips in the timeline. One of my dogs eating some whipped cream and my wife baking some cupcakes. And if I go to the video effects, I go to my ProDad V to Scene filter and I drag it onto the clip. Now you can drag it onto individual clips or entire timelines, which can help in picture in picture like you're seeing right now. So I'm just gonna drag it on the clip and then you see it applies a filter. That's not the filter itself, but that's how you know it's on your clip. Hit edit filter and that brings open this. This is the main window that shows you all the different types of filters. And if you go up to the root, that's where it has its two main folders, filters and transitions. So we double click filters then we look and we see a bunch of different stuff here. I'm just gonna show you a couple of them, like they have a bunch of film looks, and to apply them, all you gotta do is double click them, and it shows you your preview of what it looks like. Now, these aren't just drag and drop or double click, you can actually adjust these quite a bit, all of them, with the length of it, like this one, the length, threshold, sharpness, and if you don't like it, no big deal, all you gotta do is double click a different one. Bring that up, that looks cool, kinda like they're demon dogs. Contrast down, and you can see what it looks like. Now be aware, right when you always open this up, it puts in two keyframes, one at the beginning and one at the end. So if you like an effect and you don't want it to change around, delete the last keyframe, and then select the first keyframe again, and now it won't change no matter where you go on the timeline. We'll see some other effects. We got some heavenly glow going on, that looks pretty cool. Go up, we have blurs, we have film look tints, old films, see what that looks like. Old sepia film, old TV, look at that VHS, that looks really good. See what that looks like. Change the length of the RGB fade, that looks pretty cool. The haziness, man, this does a lot of the work for you. Not bad at all. Change the gamma, low intensity, Scroll down, you can just do a bunch of stuff, and then you can adjust the color all in here. Hyper adjustments. And that's some cool effects right there. That's just that one. We got some blurs, some rays, luminosity. Oh. We have some borders we can put in here. Age border. Last border. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff that doesn't really come with Vegas. It's more like custom made things that are all in this pre-done pack. Pretty awesome. We got some sparkle, some simple glitter glow. Pretty cool. And that's just a few of the effects you got here. There's a lot to choose from, so some of them won't always pertain to what you're trying to make. But you always want to make sure that the keyframes down here that you delete the ones that you don't have the effect on. So if I accidentally made a keyframe, just drag to the beginning and we're good to go. So I'm going to go back and the one I use most often is picture in picture. If I double click that one, it creates a really nice automatic picture in picture with shadow, feathering. You can adjust the size, the position. You can do a lot with this picture in picture, and I use it all the time. In fact, like I said in the beginning, it's the current one I'm using right now. So if you want to apply these, you actually have to hit F12. You can't just close the window itself. So you hit F12, and then it applies your filter. So let's go to the transitions. Let's click transitions, go to ProDad V to scenes, drag and drop that into the center. And you have to make sure your cursor is inside the transition time. So let's go, let's drag it open. And it's right about there. Then we go to edit transitions. And it'll bring us to the main page. Now there's a lot of transitions. A lot of stuff Vegas doesn't have. Let's just go through a few. We got some shape wipes. Let's uh, double click it, see what it looks like. And to test this, you just drag the bar all the way across and you can see what it looks like. That looks pretty cool. A real nice ring, almost like a, almost like a Doctor Strange kind of ring. Let's back up and see the next one. We got classic effects. Now these are some of the more common ones. Intense glow. Back up another folder. We got some ripple effects. Corner ripple. Oh yeah, like a stone thrown in a pond. See, that's some really good looking stuff. Glow wipes. Let's see. Glow star right here. Oh yeah, that one's pretty neat. Classic defocus. Those are some little basic ones here too. 
glitter wipes. Let's see what that looks like. I like the beginning one. But a lot of these transitions are also adjustable as well. So we can adjust the sharpness of this circle. Adjust the opacity of it. See what else we got. We got some light wipe. Kind of like a fireball transition. Cool. It has its own almost reflection too. That's pretty cool. 3D effect. It has a lot of psychosomatic thing right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, again, to apply these transitions, hit F12. There we go. Have our picture in picture plan. Bam. Right to the cupcakes. And that's pretty much it. That's a brief rundown of the Pro Dad effects. Now again, mine came when I got Vegas Pro 16, along with the Boris plan as well which that'll be another video, but you can buy these effects standalone and I'll leave a link in the description for those, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video. 